So clothoprotein yeah. peptide one is what we're talking about. This is the alpha, beta, gamma, KL1, KL2, full transmembrane variety of clotho. That means from the PD to the actual stat expression, we're seeing full expression, which means we're seeing FGF23 complex binding improved. So the cool thing about that is with that complex, you literally picture it like this big conglomerate coming and binding. Remember with all these bindings, it's not lock and key like it's told about online. Like that's the easy way to think about it. It's a it's very much undersold with how complex and cool these systems are because it's based on mathematics and electromagnetism. So the clotho will actually electrochemically and magnetically and mathematically bind, conformationally change shape, and then alter the FGF23 complex. So it'll spin off in their FGF21, which everyone knows from the sugar diet, right? With increased mitochondrial uncoupling. So clotho will cause direct changes to body composition just by driving beta oxidation lipolysis via FGF21. But cooler than that, protein kinase B, protein kinase C, that extracellular related kinase, that drives all of the cell migration, cell survival, signal transduction, like literally name a healthy biochemical process. Clotho is a part of that process. 